Hey guys, it's Rob Caputo. I'm here with uh, Murat and uh, his 1966 Dodge Coronet. Now, fun fact, a Coronet is a, and I didn't know this, but a Coronet is a, a crown for, not ro for royalty, but not for kings and queens. It's actually a crown for like uh, earls and stuff like that. So I thought that was an interesting fact. I didn't know, did not know that. But anyway, that's what a Coronet is. But a Dodge Coronet, these, they manufactured about 10,000 of these um, Coronets, uh, all the different types of models that they sold uh, in 1966 uh, for about $2,500. That was kind of like the base price for this vehicle. Um, they did have an option for the Hemi, the 442 Hemi engine. Um, I think about 800, 900 of those were sold at the time. And um, that was a $900 option. So just imagine, that was a third of the price of the car and it was um, in that time frame, so that's quite expensive. Just imagine today a $30,000 car having a $10,000 option, and they sold 900 of them, so that's pretty amazing. And of course, Jay Leno has one of them. Um, I'll leave that description down below and that video down below of his 1966 Coronet with the Hemi engine. Um, but let's go right to it. Let's talk to Marat and let's talk to him about this 1966 Coronet that is for sale. All right, guys, so I'm here with Marant. He's going to tell us a little bit about this 1966 uh, Dodge Coronet that's for sale. So, hello, Marant. How are you? Very good. How are you, Rob? Good, good. No, thank you for meeting up with me this Sunday morning. I do appreciate it. No um, this is so the 1966 Coronet 500. Mm -hmm. um, one of the 371 produced ever. Uh, big block 361 cubic inch originally and four speed on the floor. And I bought it from Chicago, and to Chicago came from New Mexico. <clears throat> How did you find it? I find it on the internet. On the internet? Yes. And I went to Chicago. It was yellow color, original. Okay. Then I turned to the black. Interior also very nice, black and four speed. And uh, Noras at all, beautiful original OM body. And then I put it 440 big block engine from 68 Chrysler Newport. Uh, and that was an option for this car. A 440 engine, I believe, was, was an uh, option. 467, yes, but 66, the ma uh, best action option, it was the 383. The 383? And Hemi engine. And then the Hemi, which yes. was a $900 option, I yes, believe. So. I, yes. <laughs> uh, Jay Leno also Quite has the same car. Exactly. Just, just automatic. Yeah. <laughs> he couldn't find the four speed, but I found it. You found it. Perfect. Yes. Now, it has a 440 mild cam, mm -hmm. and all the gaskets, everything is new. We opened the head also, valve job, everything nicely. A new oil pump, everything. Brand new uh, steering box and uh, pump also. Okay. And we did conversion disc brake front. Oh, that's that's good, yeah. Because it originally has four-wheel drum brakes, correct? Yes. Yeah. So was it the whole front suspension? The whole front yes. end was replaced? Yes, we replaced also, yes. Okay, we, great. We did it, yes. And we rebuilt four-speed transmission. This is 833 original. Hey guys, I apologize. I lost the audio on this video, but I wanted to give you a little bit more information about this uh, this particular car. So this Coronet has an 833 transmission. It was a complete rebuild. Um, it's got the original four-speed um, in it, so uh, which is very, very rare actually on this model. So anyway, I think there's one out of like 300 of these uh, in existence with the four-speed transmission. Um, it's a really nice car. It's very clean, uh, as you can tell in this video. Um, Marat was nice enough, nice enough to walk me through the entire thing. He showed me a couple different things. The one thing I kind of pointed out, and he pointed out to me, was these LED lights. Uh, he retrofitted these LED lights into this uh, vehicle. They look great. Um, he was going to show me uh, them running, uh, but it's got a really cool pattern to it. You know, the lower half of it, uh, the driving lights work first, and then obviously if you put the headlights on, the, 
um, high beams, you know, everything works. Um, he showed me the engine. Um, the engine has basically, it's a rebuilt engine. Um, a, friend of, a friend of his uh, rebuilt the engine. Uh, did a great job. Um, it's a 440 big block, uh, 68 Chrysler Newport uh, engine with steel crank, mild cam, open head, clean valves, uh, new gaskets, oil pump is new, water pump is new, and it's got a brand new 750 Holley double pump carburetor on it. So, um, really nice engine, uh, runs really smooth. I wish I had the <laughs> audio for it, but it ran really smooth. Um, it sounds great. It wasn't obnoxiously loud or anything like that, um, but he did have, I'm trying to remember the exhaust system on it. The exhaust system, he had headers with a Magnaflow muffler system on it that uh, was cut off basically at three quarters of the length of the car. Um, but it sounded great. You know, it r wasn't obnoxious. You could barely hear it from like 100 yards away. And it was really nice and smooth. So, excellent car. Uh, Marat had the uh, Krager wheels on it um, with the BF Goodrich uh, radial tires on it, and it looked great. It's just perfect. The sizing is perfect. Uh, the chrome on the wheels are, are in great condition. Um, there is the Coronet 500 badging that belongs in that location right there. He does have the badging, just it hasn't installed it yet. Um, the interior was uh, nice. Um, a lot of the gauges didn't work. Um, they can be refurbished, but he did add uh, some of the new gauges in there to uh, compensate. The seats were in great shape. I mean, excellent condition. Um, when I sat down in it, it was comfortable. Uh, I had the Coronet 500 uh, badging on the inside of the car. The radio does not work, um, but uh, you know, I'm sure that can be fixed or replaced with a, another version. Um, he's got the tachometer, he's got the oil gauge, voltmeter, temperature gauge, all on there with the videos. Um, so yeah, all the pertinent information's there. So anything that you need, uh, you have. So, uh, but yeah, I mean, obviously it needs a little TLC. There's a little bit of work that needs to be done to it. It's a project car, um, but he's done like more than 75% of it already. So it's in really good condition. All you really need to do is just put some TLC into it, update some gauges, or repair them, and you're you're good to go. Uh, the doors shut really nicely; they sounded good. Um, all of the metal, all of the steel, was in great shape. He said that there was no bondo or anything like that; it was all straight. So, and I believe him. Based on what I saw in and around the car, it looked pretty solid. So, uh, it's a great car. In the rear of the car, um, the chrome bumpers needed a little bit of TLC. It looked like you could re-chrome the rear bumper, but the rear bumper was there. It was original, so all it needs to be done is, is to be re-chromed. Uh, he showed me inside the, um, the trunk. Uh, it didn't have any floor mats or anything like that, um, but when he opened it up, you could tell that uh, it's been painted. It's in really good condition. I didn't see any rust or anything like that or anything like out of the ordinary. Um, the steel rim for the uh, the spare was original. The tire obviously probably wasn't original, um, but uh, everything else looked pretty good. It was almost like you could see the dust from like when they painted the car black, because originally this car was yellow and they painted it black, but um, yeah, it was a really, really good condition. All it needed was a little bit of cleaning and a little bit of uh, carpeting in the back, uh, maybe a new tire for the spare, and you're good to go. Rob brought me up to the front uh, to show me the uh, the plate for the uh, the car. This is the original plate. Um, had the VIN number on it and everything like that. So if you wanted to get some information on the car, you could. But uh, yeah, it was there. It was available. Um, and he this is for sale. Um, he's not looking for any trades or anything like that. He's just looking for this car to go to a new owner, uh, someone who's going to take care of it and, and appreciate the Dodge Coronet. And, uh, you know, he's ready to sell this. He's got a couple other cars he's looking to sell also, but this is the first one he wants to get rid of and uh, pass on to a new owner.
This is where he turned the uh, LED lights on, and I thought that was so cool. At night, these things must look so awesome. Um, he said that they're super bright. Obviously, the original halogens are really kind of like left a lot uh, to, to be desired in terms of visibility, but these LEDs are a huge retrofit. Definitely looks nice, and uh, it doesn't really like impact the uh, the car aesthetics at all. I mean, it really looks act like like it's meant to be there. I wanted to get some uh, interior shots for you. The uh, the interior lighting uh, in the center console works both sides. Uh, the lens is a little bit uh, burnt, but not bad at all. Um, center console, everything is working. Access to, to everything is working. You can obviously see the four-speed transmission there. Uh, seating is in really good condition. The side paneling on the doors, really good. Um, you know, if you really wanted to go nuts, you could replace the carpeting if you wanted to, but this is when he ran the car, um, and I'm just, it, it's killing me that I don't have uh, the audio for this, but I apologize, guys, but if, uh, if you are interested in this vehicle, it was super smooth, it was really, it purred like a kitten, I mean, this thing was not obnoxious in terms of its sound, it was just very smooth. It sounded powerful, um, like a true muscle car. It really was a nice vehicle, no question about it. So, and the engine ran like a, it was in tip top shape. So, nothing to be worried about there. All right, so let me run down some of the facts again while you're looking at this car from the side profile. The original engine was a 361 big block engine, but now it has a 440 big block. Um, like I said, it's uh, with a steel crank, mild cam, open head, clean valves, new gasket, uh, oil pump, water pump is new, brand new 750 Holley carb. Uh, it's got an 833 transmission, complete rebuild uh, with a four speed transmission in it, uh, heavy duty clutch, 323 sure grip rear end, front disc brakes, four new tires. Um, it's got the uh, um, really nice tires, new front end, meaning Basically, the whole front end suspension was replaced. Shocks are, are new. Brand new steering box um, and pump. Um, it used to be yellow. It's now that beautiful black that you see in front of you. It's got no rust. It's the original body uh, from New Mexico. It's got the original Vintag that I showed you um, in the video. Uh, and it's one of 317 produced in this year. I mean, yeah, there were 10,000 of these vehicles produced and sold and seven or eight nine hundred of them were with the hemi engine which is very rare um, given that it was such an expensive option but uh yeah this particular one with the four speed transmission and a 361 big block um there was one of 317. Uh, so it's a nice vehicle um he's willing to sell it for thirty thousand dollars i think is his asking price i'll leave all of his information down below in the description box his email his cell phone you can reach out to him his nickname is George, and you can uh, ask him some more questions. Check it out, and uh, good luck. <laughs>